So you probably know this thing. You are charging your iPhone. It just goes from 60, 70, all the way till 80. And after you hit 80%, it just stops and it just doesn't charge it anymore for some reason. So let's discuss it. There are potentially two reasons why your iPhone doesn't charge past 80% of its battery capacity. The reason number one is temperature. I'm not the only person whose iPhone is getting a little bit warmer while it's on the charger, and especially with the fast charging. And while the iPhone is charging quickly and heating up quickly, it may actually degrade the battery a lot faster. So Apple wants to do something against it. Like Apple literally says it officially on their website somewhere that they are going to limit the battery charging above 80%. So when your iPhone gets too warm, the software thing is going to kick in and it's just going to limit it. It's just going to slow it down, wait for the battery to cool down, and then it can continue again. It considers 80% to be like a safe level. So even if you need the iPhone right away to unplug it and use it in real life, this wouldn't be a problem since 80% is actually enough. Apple even turns off the low power mode once you hit 80% of charging, so they really consider this to be like a good number. So what you can do in order to prevent this or in order to make sure that your iPhone charges past 80%, well, you can move your iPhone to a cooler location, make sure it's cooling down with external things, like don't put it in a, in a fridge or something, but you get my point. And the reason number two is simply called optimized battery charging. And it's a concept that Apple brought with iOS 13. So chances are that your iPhone already is a part of that. And the way it works is that Apple and specifically your iPhone uses, as they call it, on a device machine learning to learn your daily habits. And this is simply explained like this. Let's say that you go to bed at 10 p.m. and you wake up at 6 a.m. every morning with more or less precision, I would say. And during that time, you plug your iPhone in on a charger. And since it's not the best thing for the battery to charging during the entire night, your iPhone finds out that you always wake up at 6 a.m. and it wants to make sure that at the moment you wake up, you hit 100%. But you hit 80% maybe at 2 a.m. So it's going to use the remaining time, in our case, the four hours, to charge from 80% to 100%. So it's just going to stretch it out from 80%. That's why you may actually feel that the time after 80% is just taking really long, that those percentage above 80 are just really slow and it's just unbearably long. It just guesses that you're going to wake up at 6 a.m. And that's why it has to stretch out the time so it charges all the time and it doesn't hit 100% at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. And then it's just on charger for a couple of hours. They just want to spread it out. The problem, however, could be that your iPhone guesses your routines and habits incorrectly and you just don't want to wait a couple of hours from 80 to 100% of your battery to be charged. And that can be kind of annoying. Well, you can actually disable it in the settings. So if you just go to your iPhone settings, then go to battery, then to battery health, then you can see that you probably have uh, the optimized battery charging enabled. So uh, just disable it. And once you plug your iPhone in, even if you have 85%, it's just going to it's just going to take up the regular amount of time and it's just not going to be very long. And also when this is enabled, when optimized battery charging is active on your iPhone, you're going to get a notification on your lock screen. Like I said in our example, let's say at 2 a.m. you're going to wake up and you're going to see that optimized charging is going on. And it just tells you that your iPhone is going to be finished. The charging is going to be done at 6 a.m. Because this is when your iPhone expects you to wake up. And if you just want to charge quickly, you just need to go somewhere at 3 a.m., let's say you can actually tap on that notification on the iPhone's lock screen and there's gonna, there gonna be the option to charge now and it's just gonna avoid and it's just gonna forget all the optimized thing. It's just gonna charge it regularly from this point on. So you have some control over it. If you want to, I'm going to link the article from Apple about optimized battery charging and it just goes a little bit on depth about the chemical age of your battery and 
Uh, I mean, it, you can read through it if you want, but I just wanted to let you know about the important stuff. So hopefully this video helped you and perhaps even answered your question. Because I don't think that there should be any other reason why your iPhone stops charging at 80%. I mean, it would be just like a weird software bug, but more often than not, I expect it to be one of these two things. So if this video helped you, I would really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up, left a comment saying whatever you want. I'm just going to reply to it sooner or later. You can subscribe so you don't miss future videos and have a great rest of the day.